Hi guys, and welcome to my channel. My name is Jasmine Tyler, and I'm a college student who loves living a healthy and balanced lifestyle. Today, I'm gonna take you through a realistic week in my life in Hawaii and show you all the delicious meals I eat. All of them are gonna be super easy to make, they're nourishing, and they'll make you feel amazing. I'm also on my period, so you'll be seeing lots of delicious and comforting dessert recipes as well. Don't forget to subscribe because I post videos every Sunday, and go grab a snack and enjoy the video. Happy Sunday, everyone, or whatever day you're watching this. We I haven't done a water chug in a while, so grab a glass and do one with me. In this video, I'm kind of not really struggling, but I'm dealing with two things. First of all, I'm on my period. It makes me crave all the chocolate in the world. And it's also fun because I feel like baking so much more. So it's always about listening to your body. And second of all, I'm still dealing with this really pesky pinch nerve in my back. And if you've ever gone through times where you can't really do the things you love as much, like for me in particular, I love being active, I love surfing, and I haven't been able to do those two things for over a month. And it's just a reminder that nothing is perfect, and I hope you enjoy this vlog of a week in my life where I just take you around the island, show you all the delicious foods I eat, and also share a little bit of realness with you guys. So let's get started with day one. This video is gonna encompass my meals from Monday to Friday, and today is Monday, and I was surprisingly craving a warm bowl of oatmeal. I don't know if it's my subconscious telling me to start eating cozier meals now that it's fall, but I'm all here for it. I microwave the oats with almond milk and topped them with banana, microwave blueberries, peanut butter, and cinnamon. Super simple and delicious, and I sipped on a warm cup of turmeric ginger tea as I worked. I'm someone who gets obsessed with very niche meals and once I fall in love with something I'm gonna eat it every day. This is my second day eating spaghetti squash and I'd forgotten how amazing spaghetti squash is. The trick for getting your squash super tender and like pasta is cooking it face side down on the pan so it steams itself. I paired it with some homemade vegan pesto as well as some sauteed zucchini and chicken apple sausage. I feel like every component of this lunch is very autumn themed because we've got squash, spices, and of course the chicken apple sausage. After lunch, I always crave fruit, so today's snack was two big bowls of grapes, which is my favorite fruit ever. I'm not going to show all my snacks in this video because most of the time it's super repetitive and it's just grapes or melon or something like that. So for the rest of the video, just assume that I'm eating at least two big bowls of fruit every day. Around 4 p.m., I stopped working and I headed to the beach with my roommate Delilah. The waves were pretty gorgeous today, so it was kind of torturous to not get to surf, but every time I feel frustrated, I remind myself that long-term health is the most important thing and that I shouldn't engage in short-term behaviors that would impact that. This mentality can apply to so many things because many times people look for shortcuts when it comes to health and fitness. That's why you should avoid restrictive diets or exercise programs that tell you to work out every day because being extreme is never sustainable. Listening to your body and finding balance and joy in your life should always be the ultimate goal and this is a lesson I had to learn the hard way. Now it's Tuesday and guess what? I was craving the same exact breakfast as yesterday so I got the oats out, the almond milk and the frozen blueberries and microwaved it all together. I feel like a lot of times this world gets really rushed, so if you're watching this video, I hope it means that you're taking a nice 10 minute break for yourself. So let's do a little check-in. How are you feeling today? Have you drank enough water? If you haven't, pause this video and go grab a glass. When's the last time you had a self-care night or cooked yourself a nourishing meal? Have your workouts been making you feel energized or exhausted? And I mean exhausted in a negative way, not the good exhaustion you feel after a great workout. Oh wait, here's me eating grapes again. Again. And guess what? I'm finally getting active again after a solid month of no exercise. This week, I reached my goal of going on four walks and all of them lasted about 50 minutes. Slow and steady and walking has so many health benefits. It felt so great to breathe in the fresh air, check out my favorite beach lookout point, and also get rained on again. In Hawaii, the weather changes so abruptly, like it could be completely sunny one day, and in two minutes, you get a super dramatic and windy rainstorm. This is the aftermath. I feel like I just did some hit because I'm so sweaty. <laughs> you went and lay on your walk. Five minutes like, it's like torrential <laughs> down. I literally look up and I'm like, I think I deserve a cup of tea and some yoga. I'm gonna dry off first. I dried off and made myself a cup of turmeric ginger tea, which I drink at least two cups a day of. Turmeric is immune boosting, it aids in digestion, it's anti-inflammatory and super healing, and I recommend it to everyone. It has a mildly spicy taste, kind of like chai, and it's perfect for the autumn weather. With all the free time that's opened up with all these rainy days, I have been reading so much, and my current obsession is a series called The Bear and the Nightingale. I feel like I've said fall vibes or autumn 
bottom vibes a million times in this video, but I'm gonna say it one more time because this book series is set in like a winter wonderland fairy tale in Russia, and the writing is so stunning, so I 100% recommend it, and it's in one of my top five series that I've ever read, which is saying a lot. This sounds like it's sponsored, but it's not. I'm just obsessed with these books, and now back to the food. I ate spaghetti squash for the third day in a row, and this one also had pesto, zucchini, and chicken apple sausage. In case you don't follow me on Instagram, but you definitely should, it's at Jazz Tyler. I just announced my new one week vegan challenge, which starts today. So for the next seven days, I'll be eating 100% plant-based. And by today, I mean Sunday, October 3rd, not today as in the day I'm currently showing in this video. So you should definitely join me in this one week challenge and I'll be showing you all of my vegan meals on my Instagram. As a snack today, I ate about half of these chocolate covered cashews because period cravings. And then I headed to the beach to see if I could get lucky with some sun. But of course I got rained on. It was only drizzling though. So I actually stayed at the beach for a few hours and I read my book and the rain actually heightened the experience of reading. Then I headed to a different beach to watch the sunset with my roommates and I couldn't have gotten luckier with these three because they all have the best vibes and we have so much in common. Once I got home, I was way too lazy to cook because I was feeling a little bit of cramps. So I relied on my meal prep, which in this case was the leftover chicken soup that I had a few days ago. That was the end of Tuesday. So now it's Wednesday and I was craving a thick smoothie bowl. I kept it simple with some strawberries and bananas and a life hack that I recently discovered is freezing almond milk into ice cubes and blending that into your smoothies, which makes them super frothy. I poured the smoothie into a bowl and I added on some peanut butter to make it kind of like a peanut butter and jelly flavor. And also because the peanut butter added some fat and protein to make this meal more balanced. I also made a smoothie bowl for my roommate Kama today and she chose a cookie dough flavor, which is made with frozen banana, cacao nibs, almond milk, and peanut butter. I topped her smoothie bowl with leftover pumpkin brownie raw nola that I rolled into little energy balls. And you can find that recipe in last week's video where I ate like Kourtney Kardashian for a day. I also ate two of them as a snack. And then we headed to my all time favorite restaurant on Oahu, which is called Maharaja's Foods. They don't have an Instagram, but you can search them up on maps and they serve the most incredible vegan Indian food. Delilah and I are already obsessed, but this was Kama's first time trying it and it didn't disappoint. The pumpkin and the beans, so good. I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. The owner cooks all the meals himself and they're served buffet style. The menu is always changing, so I just get a little bit of everything and the flavors are so incredible. The ingredients are local and organic and it's just a nutrition bomb. What was new on the menu today were these moringa seeds that he got from his neighbor's tree. Moringa is a superfood that people usually throw into smoothies in a powder form, but I'd never tried it whole and it was kind of slimy like bone marrow and it was covered in tons of delicious spices. The owner is so nice and he gave us a container of this cardamom grain pudding with nuts and dried fruit as well. I was in a food coma after that meal and I met up with my friend Gabby to go on a one hour walk. And of course we ended up at the beach and jumped in the water. This break is called pipeline. And in a few weeks as winter approaches, you'll get to see how the waves quadruple in size. And this is where tons of surf contests are held. I ended up at another beach again for sunset. And this time I met up with my roommates because life is too short to miss the sunset. For dinner, I was craving something super quick. So I made what Delilah called a bro meal because it reminded us all of those basic bodybuilder style recipes. It was just leftover salmon, steamed broccoli, and avocado. Satisfying and simple, but the salmon had tons of garlic, rosemary, and lemon, so it was super delicious and flaky. That's it for Wednesday, and now it's Thursday. My cravings were strong today, so I decided to make chocolate donuts for breakfast. I've never owned a donut mold, but I finally ordered one from Amazon, so you can expect lots of donut recipes in the future. I baked the donuts for around 10 minutes, and once they'd cooled down, I dunked them in melted dark chocolate and drizzled them with lots of peanut butter. When you're on your period, there's a reason you crave chocolate and nuts, and that's because during that time of the month, your body becomes deficient in minerals like iron and magnesium. So when you crave something, just go for it because treats are always necessary, and there's also a reason your body is asking you to eat certain things. I ended up eating two and a half donuts for breakfast, and I ate more of my bodybuilder style meal prep for lunch with the salmon, avocado, and steamed broccoli. Also, today I celebrated 400,000 followers on TikTok, which is so crazy, and of course, I had to bake a cake. You you can find this recipe on my Instagram and it's actually a riff on my favorite chickpea blondies but in cake form. Baking with canned beans or sneaking veggies into desserts is one of my favorite things to do and when it comes to my chickpea blondies they are so addictive and I almost always eat the entire batch within a few days and with this cake I ate three quarters of it in one sitting. There's something so satisfying about just like demolishing an entire cake. For dinner today I heated up some leftover vegan Indian food from Maharaja's and I added on some leftover rice as well. I ordered a whole extra plate 
the day before so I could have lots of leftovers. That's the end of Thursday and now it's Friday which is the last day in this what I eat in a week. I was craving more dessert for breakfast so I made a single serving blueberry muffin with only five ingredients. My life hack is using pancake mix instead of regular flour because that decreases the amount of ingredients that you need to use. I cooked the muffin for around four minutes but the time you cook it depends on what kind of microwave you have so just cook it in 30 second increments until it's fully cooked and super fluffy. For lunch today I made some super creamy vegan peanut noodles and I posted the full recipe on my Instagram at Jazz Tyler so follow me there so you don't miss it. Since it's Friday I planned a super fun dinner night with some friends and cooking with people is always so much fun. We settled on making vegan dumplings with tofu, mushrooms, bok choy, and scallions plus lots of ginger, garlic, soy sauce, and sesame oil. All you have to do is saute all the ingredients until they're fully cooked and have burned off all the moisture which took around 15 minutes. Once the water from the veggies and tofu has evaporated, transfer the mixture to a blender and puree it slightly. You still want it a little bit chunky, like obviously not a smoothie, but just blend it enough for the filling to easily fit into a dumpling. It was super fun and kind of tricky to fill the wrappers without the mixture exploding everywhere, but we were successful thanks to Gabby who perfected her folding technique. I also made a delicious sweet and spicy sauce and we boiled the dumplings until they floated to the top of the water, which took less than five minutes. Then it was time to assemble our plates. We each took a few dumplings and added them on top of rice, steamed cauliflower, and more of that tofu and mushroom filling. It was the perfect way to start the weekend and I hope you guys enjoyed this week in my life in Hawaii. Check out my Instagram to join my one week vegan challenge and I'll see you next Sunday. Love you!